Okay, in today's video, we're going to take a look at a sample from the Geodome Geometry book. Uh, this is uh, the book I'm producing at the minute. Like I said, I'd give a sample just for you guys to check out to make sure that I've got everything that you need. This is a bog standard two frequency dome. You can see how it differs from the online calculation tools currently available. Uh, and what I want you guys to do is take a look at it and let me know if, if I've missed anything. Uh, this is going to be the template going forward. As you can see, I have a shitload of different um, polyhedrons to do. We've got this is the two two frequency icosa. I'll short quickly run you through this one. Uh, I've got the two v monodihedral, a two v tunnel, and then we go three v, four v, five v, six v, all icosahedron, um, honeycomb versions. So there'll be truncated ones. Uh, you might not know everything I'm talking about, but this should give you some idea of the workload I've got. Uh, I might I'm thinking of going to nine frequency. Um, I, I won't be able to go in much over that. It might be work out less than that, uh, depending on time. Okay, next we would have a dodecahedron breakdown. So that would be the same sort of deal in two, three, four, and five frequency. Six frequency it says here, but we'll see if we get to that. Uh, honeycomb versions of everything. So there'll be uh, honeycombs. Are the um, I've done a few honeycombs. We'd also go. Some other basic ones like uh, trichondrohedron, deltoidal hexachondrohedron, enochondrohedron, they're quite good as well. Uh, a number of zomes, a number of um, trapezium domes, the bi-grid method and the tri-grid method. I do have videos on them if you're not sure what that is. Uh, some mixtures um, and the phase shapes. So we'll have all the polyhedron with all these different phase shapes. Um, let me... Let me show a full size version. I'll have a link to this uh, in the description. So feel free to go download, have a look at this PDF uh, and tell me if I've missed anything. Right, this is the st a bug standard two frequency dome. Uh, I'll have the polyhedron. So you'll be able to see that. Yeah, we'll thin make that a wee bit smaller. You'll be able to see the polyhedron and I will provide a um, DXF or DWG or whatever you want in that. Let me know what you would prefer in that. So I'll be giving away a free polyhedron with the book. So there'll be a, a, a great chunk of um, polyhedrons that you can download for free. Uh, so this gives you the basic information. We're working with a standard radius of 10,000 millimeters or 10 meters. The reason for this is we need lots of decimal places for accuracy. Uh, it'll give the basic information number of faces, types of faces, uh, node types, things like that we'll, we'll put in there. This is not color coded. I think I'll be redoing this in a colored coded version. We've got node angles. Uh, as we said, there's two types of node. There's the all yellow and the yellow and red. So this gives you the angles. Now, a lot of, lot of people are asking me for these angles because if you're making hubs, you need to know how it's like a disc on the end you need to know how to, uh, what that spin angle is. It's not the same as the face angle because that's leaning down. So you've got a red angle of 65.5, but in the if you're making a panel dome, it's 60 degrees. Now this, little, I'm trying to make this as compact as possible so that I can jam all of the information that you need to build um, either bevel frame, uh, conduit, uh, hub and strut, Every, all the information should be in this one page. So it gives you the uh, all the angles for your hubs, for your, the people who want to build hubs, all of the sizes of your um, faces for your beveled angle. It gives you the dihedral angles. This is the dihedral between a red panel and a yellow panel. Let's flick to the top. So a red panel, yellow panel, it gives you that dihedral. And the other one is the yellow, yellow panel. There's only the two types. This is your um, central angles and your axial angles. Right, next important one is ground section. This is what's not in any of the online calculators um, currently. Ground sections, uh, nobody has any information. They tend to do number of panels on a set dome, uh, but not really any anything about the ground elevations because uh, what, you end, what we're looking for is 
these are the four different one uh, there's actually six i think there's a 50 percent which is everybody knows this as a two frequency pretty standard there's the 75 percent which nobody does and there's also a 25 percent so you can imagine that flipped upside down it's there's also this is horizontal ground planes and this is vertical so you would if you cut down that this this side is effectively a mirror of that so they're the same and this is a 50 percent dome but it's a it's a vertical cut and not a horizontal one so you would just flip that over to a dome uh, i've used this before and this is my gd5 is this layout here with this uh, 76.4 um, and that pre creates good for little little domes that creates a, a bubble dome so this is the horizon 75% horizontal i've done um the domes in percentages rather than fractions because it's common uh do you do it's five eighths five ninths in a three we can see it's quite confusion whereas a, a percentage is much more accurate and it's much easier to um to uh, imagine the size this is 75 percent of a sphere so you kind of gives you get a better feel for it than the fractional method that gives you the heights and the uh, any any geometry that you need to straighten to the ground um looking from above this gives you your gives you your um measurements out to the node out to here for example uh, we know this measurement and it gives you the actual measurement of the base so this is actually what a base would be okay let's talk about scaling uh, i've do i will do all of the polyhedrons with a 10 meter radius the reason for this is we want to be scaling down and not scaling up if you scale up any um what would you call rounding errors get bigger and if you scale down all of your rounding errors get less now for the guys in america it works the same i've got millimeters on here but it's 10,000 units of your choice so i would do uh, a thousand inches uh, don't use feet so if you want for example let me give you a, a if you want a 20 foot dome you would need to multiply by 12 to get it into inches get it into inches and then do your um scale and factor from from inches so this could this is um exactly the same as saying it was 10,000 inches radius if you're not sure let me know in the comments and i'll 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 do a um tutorial on that it's fairly simple so with this you'll get uh, the um all of these ground sections the main thrust is to have all of the information that you need to build whatever type of dome you want in one chapter so this will be the two frequency chapter and you should be able to build one two three four five six tunnel dome as well seven uh, at least seven different kinds of two frequency dome and then we'll move on to all the other polyhedrons so we're going to end up with i mean this is currently running out there's another six pages to go six ten pages maybe and we've got we've got um 40 different polyhedrons to do so it's going to be running at about 400 pages uh, so if you guys check this off for me uh, let me know how what, what do you think of it and i'll i'll probably what i'll do is i will finish the two frequency um complete and then i will make a pdf and give that out for free just for a final check and then i'll move on with the book and keep you posted that way okay guys I'll leave that with you and i'll catch you in the next one